The Lost Treasure of Atlantis, Part 2 It took them two days to reach the island with the lighthouse. It was a small and rocky island with no signs of life. Jack's uncle anchored the boat near the shore and took out the map. According to the map, we have to dive into the water and look for a sunken statue of Poseidon, the god of the sea, he said. He was holding a trident which points to the direction of Atlantis. He handed Jack and Lucy a pair of goggles and a snorkel each. Are you ready? he asked. Yes, Jack and Lucy said. They put on their gear and jumped into the water. The water was clear and blue, and they could see many colourful fish and coral. They followed Jack's uncle, who swam deeper and deeper. After a few minutes, they saw a huge statue of Poseidon lying on the seabed. He had a long beard and a crown, and he was holding a trident in his hand. The trident was pointing to the south. Jack's uncle gestured to them to follow him. He swam towards the direction of the trident, and they followed him. They swam for about half an hour until they reached a dark and narrow tunnel. Jack's uncle entered the tunnel, and they followed him. The tunnel was dark and cold, and they could hear strange noises coming from inside. They felt nervous and scared, but they also felt curious and excited. They swam through the tunnel for what seemed like an eternity, until they saw a faint light at the end. They swam towards the light, and they emerged into a large and bright chamber. They gasped in awe. They were in Atlantis.